Hello dear children welcome back I am Dr Jisha Jo in this session we shall be discussing about the adrenal gland and the important questions that you can expect from this small topic so children let us start with our discussion of the first gland which we have in our syllabus that is the adrenal gland so here you can expect a question uh, as a diagram diagram based question to identify the gland a kidney can be given and as a cap like structure the gland can be given as a diagram and you might be asked to identify the uh, figure or identify the gland so make sure that it is adrenal gland okay then uh, second type or second question that you can expect from this is the location and uh, function of the adrenal gland where is it located located as a cap on top of each kidney and function is the secretion of the hormone adrenaline so you can expect a location and role question from that part now adrenal gland is divided into two parts the central part or central region is called as the adrenal medulla and the peripheral region or peripheral part is called as the adrenal cortex now here also you can expect a location and role type question uh, location and role of adrenal medulla so location it is the central part of the adrenal gland and what is the function function is it it secretes the hormone adrenaline adrenaline is also known by two other names noradrenaline and epinephrine okay Th two other names are also there for uh, adrenaline it is noradrenaline and epinephrine so adrenaline is called as an emergency hormone can be asked as name the following okay name the following uh name an emergency hormone emergency hormone remember it is adrenaline why is adrenaline called as an emergency hormone can be asked as give reason also what is the reason because it prepares it is this hormone which is produced during emergency situations and it prepares the body to meet any emergency situation it helps the body for fight or for flight so that is why adrenaline is also called as an emergency hormone so can be asked as give reason question adrenaline is called an emergency hormone uh, reason is that adrenaline uh, is uh, uh, secreted during emergency situations and it prepares the body to meet an emergency situation it helps the body for fight or for flight an example of uh, uh, fight or flight is uh, suppose uh, while we are walking along the road suddenly a jump a dog jumps in front of us uh, what happens there are two ways in which we can um, face the dog one is to run away from the dog that is for flight to run away from the dog and second uh, way in which we can face the dog is to uh, either take a stick or a stone and throw it at the dog so that the dog runs off so that is a fight we are fighting against that situation so two in two ways we can meet uh, or we can face a, a situation uh, that is either for fight or for flight in both the cases the hormone secreted is adrenaline it is called as the emergency hormone and the gland adrenal gland is stimulated by the nerve endings of the autonomic nervous system okay so now coming to the functions of adrenaline uh, we know adrenaline is secreted during emergency situations so just, uh, for example the uh, same example which we have seen before that is uh, seeing a dog suddenly in front of us naturally what are the changes that are taking place in our body these are the functions of adrenaline so naturally what will happen a heartbeat uh, rises or increase in heartbeat 
okay that is the first function of adrenaline increase the heartbeat level then as the heartbeat increases what happens the blood supply increases blood supply to the muscles increases the muscles of the legs and the hands need more uh, energy so the blood supply to the muscles increases during this emergency situation and uh, because these muscles uh, need more energy more glucose will be released into the muscles because uh, oxidation of glucose releases the energy so these are the functions of adrenaline so location and role can be asked location of adrenaline uh, it is secreted by the adrenal medulla and function it increases the heartbeat it increases the blood supply to the muscles and also it releases more uh, glucose into the blood okay now moving on to the second part that is the adrenal cortex as we have seen before that is the peripheral part of the adrenal gland is the adrenal cortex location and function can be asked uh, location uh, it is the peripheral part of the adrenal gland and function it secretes uh cortisone okay now cortical hormones are of two types mineralocorticoids and glucocorticoids mineralocorticoid uh, is uh, the function it's it's it regulates mineral metabolism metabolism of mineral ions are regulated by mineralocorticoids and glucocorticoids regulate the metabolism of carbohydrates fats and proteins okay then coming to the functions of cortical hormones cortical hormones increase the blood glucose okay it influences the metabolism of proteins and fats because uh, glucocorticoids are involved in the metabolism of carbohydrates fats and proteins then it regulates the salt and water balance in the body the balance of salt and water in the body is regulated by the cortical hormones it adapts the body to extreme stresses in the case for example extreme pain extreme heat extreme cold etc it is a cortical hormone that helps or adapts the body to these stresses and certain cortical hormones can also act as sex hormones hyposecretion what is meant by hyposecretion uh, secretion of the cortical hormone in less than what is actually needed by the body that is hyposecretion hyposecretion of the cortical hormone uh, or cortisones result in uh, a condition called addison's disease and hyper per secretion of uh, the adrenal cortex the cortisones from the adrenal cortex will lead to a condition called cushing's syndrome you can expect a differentiation type question from this okay difference between addison's disease and cushing's syndrome either uh, you might be asked to uh, differentiate based on symptoms or based on the uh, amount of uh, cortisone secreted okay so uh, remember addison's disease is caused due to the under secretion under secretion is hyposecretion of uh, the cortisone of adrenal cortex whereas cushing syndrome is due to the hyper secretion or over secretion of the cortisone of adrenal cortex now symptoms addison's disease the symptoms include uh, the loss of energy skin pigmentation loss of weight nausea hypoglycemia hypo glycemia is the low blood sugar level sensitivity to cold and pain increased susceptibility to infections etc whereas uh, the symptoms of cushing's syndrome include um, obesity hyperglycemia opposite of hypoglycemia that is increased blood sugar level uh, osteoporosis that is the breakage of bones okay tendency of bones to break osteoporosis then weakness general weakness and salt and water retention are some of the symptoms of cushing syndrome so the two uh, 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 so that is the two conditions addison's disease and cushing syndrome can be asked for differentiation now moving on to the last part of this uh, topic uh, that is an overgrowth of the adrenal cortex adrenal cortex if it uh, overgrows in children it might lead to premature sexual maturity or it will lead to premature sexual maturity 
that is um, we know uh, children attain uh, sexual maturity at a particular age that is uh, in girls it is about 12 years uh, in boys also 13 14 years uh, this uh, children attain sexual maturity but an overgrowth of the adrenal cortex in children leads to premature sexual maturity the children become mature at a very early age uh, then the second condition is the overgrowth of adrenal cortex in mature woman it leads to the development of male characters in the woman like for example the development of beard mustache deep male voice etc develops in the woman so this condition is called adrenal virilism can be asked for definition or what is meant by adrenal virilism so adrenal virilism is a condition which occurs in mature woman due to the overgrowth of adrenal cortex the woman develops male characteristics and the third condition where overgrowth of adrenal cortex occurs in men uh, here uh, men develop female characters so that is about the uh, three different conditions where overgrowth of the adrenal cortex occurs okay so children with uh, this uh, adrenal gland is completed i hope this session is very clear to you i have discussed with you all the important questions which you can expect from this small topic so uh, if you have any doubts please ask your doubts and give your suggestions in the comment section thank you